What's going on everybody? So we are out here at DEF CON 1. It is a half mile, eighth mile, and quarter mile uh, roll and drag race type event, no prep, at an airport. So hanging outside, it's a little windy today, and hopefully the uh, clouds over there can stay away for a while and we can get some racing off. But uh, April and my dad are starting to get the Buick prepped. I already put a tune-up in it, just a soft first tune-up, see what we can do. It's asphalt, so the first time we've been on like a non-prepped asphalt surface, this will be from a roll. So uh, just another difference in what we've been doing. So at this event, we have been invited by our buddies over at Fast Inc. to uh, be a part of their competition group, I guess you could say. Uh, I was invited for the eighth mile. Will in the ZL1 is another local with us. He's gonna do quarter, and then we will do half mile in the Buick. Um, half mile competition today, quarter and eighth mile competition tomorrow. Here so. we go, first test hit, number two on the door, means we are the second highest horsepower car signed up with 1400. So, uh, see what we got. We're gonna run this Corvette here. And first test hit, have it turned down just so we go A to B. It ended up making right about 19 pounds of boost. Um, but we're still running into where the two banks are off, the left 12.3 and 10.4 on the right. So I'm not sure that's kind of what was happening originally when we had the issue uh, with the lifters and all of that. I looked back at data from the half mile to 200 mile an hour pass, streetcar takeover and everything, and they were far closer. So uh, all we did was change plugs. Um, we went to a much warmer plug, but it wanted to throw a bunch more fuel actually at the left bank. So just trying to chase it and see where it takes us. Uh, just being mindful of it and trying to watch it. But we ended up drawing. There was actually only four teams that showed up for this street scene deal. Um, so we were going to try and throw a tune-up in. I guess the vet we're running went 192 uh, at the half mile. So I went ahead and put 25 up top, which should give 25 to 26 pounds boost probably. And... Uh, Hopefully that's a mid-190 here, but it's the roll race, so that's a whole different deal, trying to get it to work and hook. So we're going to get the car set up, ready to go, and load the tune in it. We'll be good to go. It's starting to go down. We're just getting ready for round one. Uh, like I said, four people in the class, so I think we're going to have to make about three passes in the next probably two hours or whatever. Actually, I just built a tiny little raindrop, so hopefully that big cloud of crap over there doesn't get to us. So uh, We're going to head up to the lanes right now, make our first hit. Shout out to Ryan for putting this thing on. Yo, what's up, dudes? <laughs> Ryan Revolution, welcome to DEF CON, baby. Yes. That should have been a good one. Look good. Um, it's kind of a weird deal. They changed up right at the last second. They were wanting us to pace and then wait till we hit the cone. But as soon as now they saw the green is when we we're supposed to go. So that's what we got to do. So I guess they said that we weren't match speed, um, even though they thought they were. And then they said the we thought we won. The Corvette thought they won. And I guess they don't have video or whatever. So 
Uh, but they said, let's just rerun it since we weren't at the start. Anyway, we try to back up to help that guy be at speed or whatever. So ice the car real quick, got it back up here, and then we're going to rerun it. All right, so since the car has a modified tub in it to fit a 315 radial, uh, these guys were checking it out and don't want us to run because it has a modified tub. Even though this car has a 325 radial on it, we have a 315. Probably be it from today. Um, we'll see what happens. If we even run tomorrow, we just get the heck out of here because I don't want to be out of a rule or something. So, um, Which the car does have modified tubs. It's a 61 Buick Skylark that was meant to fit like a 235. So um, yeah, it's going to have to have it to fit a tire. But uh, stock vet, 325, but that's fine. Whatever. We're, uh, we just said we're not going to deal with the rules and the people not happy or questioning so just call it they can have their run there's only uh four people total in the thing so it's not like it's a big big deal anyway we're not proving nothing anyway so <laughs> i think we we know we have the quicker car it's no big deal um but yeah we'll see what happens if tomorrow we end up sticking around for tomorrow tomorrow i will be running the camaro welcome to day two of defcon we are out here gonna do eighth and quarter mile racing today i'll be doing the eighth Bill's going to do the quarter for the group, but we're not even too worried about that anymore with the DQ and all the rules, and nobody's really following them anyway out here, so um, it's all good. We're just going to play, see what we can get the car to do. April's going to get some GoPros put on the car for you guys, so hopefully we can get some cool views and uh, have some fun and try to get out of here before the rain hits. Base tune-up in it. Uh, I'm trying to go back to hard tire, but I actually don't have my hard tire tune-up in it, so I think this is about what I had. Uh, and then I went into an advanced table and pulled timing off of... Uh, the hit and then put it back in over some time so a uh, real similar tune up to what i did on a hard tire hopefully uh, and then i'll just play with the two-step till hopefully the car will leave and roll out but with the radial you're pretty much stuck if it spins uh you're done so just got to get it to where it goes out through there and whatever the track will give me is pretty much what i can take So in testing everything went really good i mean for being on a radial no prep and just a little bit of water burnout but the, the ground's kind of porous so not a great burnout uh we actually did pretty good so i just modified the tune a little bit i'm gonna have to pedal it through in first but and then once it rolls in and shifts in second it actually pulls really really good out here so i'm gonna get some uh, gopros thrown on the car and get up in the staging lanes here we go this will be first round of the shootout i'm racing a all-wheel drive diesel uh chevy pickup looks like a duramax build so I gotta hop in the car, we'll head up there and we'll see how we do in first round. when you come up against a diesel truck but they asked for a rerun i said we'd do it for 100 bucks so we're gonna run this 100 dollars grudge race and uh see what happens
outside, so it's... You, are you yeah, it was bad. Sorry, let's turn him again. Good job, guys. He did. Oh man, it looked like you were coming around. Oh, I had 20 plus miles an hour on the outside. And how, so what was it? How, how much? About half. A car? Mm -hmm. Dude, it, you could not tell it right here. It was fast. No, yeah, that's what. Cool. That shit got out of the You, you had me buy four and cars, then. and then at the end it was, yeah. I guess, half. We, from, from here, that's there's great. no way to tell. <laughs> yeah. There's no way to tell who. Yeah. No, I just blew the tire off of yeah. the yeah. hit. And I, it's like, as soon as I pedaled, I was like, Good job, guys. I was like, that's a cool race. race, man. race, That was fun. Unfortunately, you win some, you lose some. Car was doing good. That time he built boost. I saw him two step too long, built too much boost, and then knocked the tire off and had to pedal it hard. Probably had 20 plus mile an hour easy on him on the top side. But uh, it's racing, and we're going to load everything up, be ready to go in case the rain rolls in. We can get the heck out of here quick, but maybe watch a little bit more racing. But otherwise, guys, that'll be probably it for this one. Appreciate everybody for watching. If you would please subscribe to the channel, we'll see you in the next video.